some extra shit. <laughs> Cause I want it. It's not working on there. So I mean, my pole not working. Might as well get rid of it somehow. <laughs> do, do you? Do me. <laughs> it's my last. Dude, that's fucking. You need to throw that out the way farther than that. <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's way better though. Better? No, it's obviously better. Look at like the picture. Oh yeah, that's what you were saying. That's better quality then. Remember how dark it used to be? You can still yeah. see all the colors, see? Yeah. Oh, it's only popping, now it's over with. Look what I'm doing. See? I'm taking this sauce, right? Since it's so bold, put it all over the chicken. Chicken. Then I take the chicken. Oh, that chicken? Yep. Yeah, that's what you want to eat. Okay. Today, I'm 13 weeks and some days. Um, trying to make this video quick. Um, tomorrow is a very exciting day. We get to see our baby again. Uh, another ultrasound for. Uh, and hopefully we'll find out the sex of hope because I, I think I found out around this time with Moon. She was, I was, I think I was around 14, 15 weeks with her when I found out. Um, but anyway, I feel like I'm further along because the movements are like really strong in this time. I mean, it's not strong as a big baby, but you know, I mean, and then you. And you know, I also want to say, you know, because a lot of people assume that I look, I probably have twins because I'm showing already. No, it's not, it's not true. When you already had a child in the past, most women, some women, let's put it like that, um, show early. Some women even feel their child early. And when I did this research, it is true. I started feeling my child at nine weeks. This one right here, I started feeling this one at nine weeks. I started feeling my mood like probably 13, 14 weeks. And um, we're about to have a tournament. We've got a tournament to watch, so uh, my boyfriend to go pick up my daughter. I just hope she get back so she But um, I start feeling, I start feeling movements at nine weeks, and I know the difference between gas and movements. Believe me, it's about to be TMI, but I have gas all the time. So I know what a gas bowl feel like. I know them gas bowls that go up your back, the kind that come all the way up, everywhere, all in your, through your legs and everything. So I know it ain't no gas. So now I'm seeing actual movements. I'm feeling actual movements. Like, you know, you can see my boyfriend actually look at my belly. I showed it to him so he can see that I'm feeling them. He see my belly is like just moving. The baby was just doing this. It's just what it felt like. The feet. I just feel a lot of movements and you can see it through my stomach now. Um, sometimes they be bumping up a spawn, especially if I'm playing music or, you know, I'm a photographer, a videographer, so I hang around a lot of music, musicians, and I'm a very musical person too myself. I love listening to music, so whenever there's music playing, the babies are kicking up a storm, and it's funny, kind of tickles. So I'll just tell them tomorrow, we'll find out, and... Um, I'm excited because the boyfriend is like craving pizza and wings and guess who's cooking the wings? Him. Yeah. Fat moment. I'm telling you, with this pregnancy, I am so hungry every day. I'm all day long. Right now, I just woke up from a nap and I feel like I have not ate anything. Well, I kind of didn't eat a lot. Anyway, before I went to sleep, I had um, had some leftover macaroni from his mom's party. I'm kind of a picky eater with this pregnancy too. Like I have to, if I'm thinking of something that I want to eat, I want to eat that. Like I have to go buy it. It's like there's no, well why don't you buy this? No, no. I want what I'm thinking right now. That's that's what it is. With Mumu, I was just I wasn't picky. I was just eating everything. I was a garbage disposal. Like, seriously. Hey, guess what, y'all? I still see my neck. I'm three months pregnant, and you can see my neck still. My face might have got chunkier, but I mean I know that's gonna happen. I, I'm experiencing some bloatage of my ankles. Um, you know my neck. <laughs> My ankles has been swollen right now. They had it, but today I'm trying to stay off my feet since I work tomorrow. It, I, had, I, didn't, I didn't swell up with Momo, and I get sick at work all the time. 
sometimes it's so bad that I like I, I need to go home um I get really tired it's a lot oh who keeps calling me goodness but I'm about to soon to be in heaven I'm about to have a um, booty do so I'm not gonna be excited about that <laughs> have a booty do I mean, for those who don't know what a booty do is, you got more stomach than your booty do. I think that's how they go. Well, your stomach bigger than your booty is a booty do, is what they're saying. So, that's what I'm about to be looking like soon. My belly gonna be bigger than my butt. <coughs> I think I got my boyfriend's sock. Oh, well, they don't need anyway. Uh, so, it feels wet. <laughs> Oh, this sock is too big. I can't move this sock. Yeah, me and my boyfriend wear each other's socks. You know why he can wear my socks? Because I, I buy men's socks. And the reason why I do, because they're more comfortable. And I bought a lot of men's socks because when I go jogging, I like to wear men's socks. They're more comfortable than women's socks. They're like, they make our socks so freaking thin. Like, what the heck are we supposed to do with that? And then I feel like I have no support in my feet when I have thin socks on. Like this, one time I wear them thin socks is if I'm um just putting on regular tennis shoes or something. Right now, it doesn't matter. I'm getting dressed because, uh oh, is he here? I think he's here. And I ain't even dressed. Bye. Today is Friday, May 15th. I hear fish anymore. Yeah, you got your woman. <laughs> Babe, got him some. Oh, hat fell. <laughs> he losing his pole. Got a little catfish. She's caught. We caught two. 